folks, and welcome back to Concilium Watch. I'm Austin, and on this week's episode for the Army Builder Briefings, we are going to go over the Japanese Successionist Army. This army is full of tough and efficient heavy infantry and some very deadly skirmishers, the latter of which you do pay a premium for. These guys are overall very fast and want to get to the midfield so they can utilize their medium to short range weapons and very high martial arts skills. They don't have a plethora of long range weapons, so you're really going to need to be accustomed to moving your fire teams in such a way so you have the least amount of hits possible, taking the least amount of hits possible, and utilizing your skirmishers to take out the big scary snipers that they may have, that your opponent may have, or any other things that are going to impede you from getting to the midfield. Their skirmishers are very, very good at that. Now, before we continue, we're gonna go over, again, the five things you typically need in a sectorial army list. They are a core fire team for link team bonuses, specialists to push buttons and complete objectives, hit pieces, units with high burst weapons for active turn shooting, defensive pieces, units with long range weapons to be put mainly on ARO or to be midfield roadblocks and order monkeys because the more orders you have, the more you can do. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, here in Army 7, JSA is under the NA2 Armies, non-aligned armies. And right there, second one, Japanese Successionist Army. All right, this first list is for my new players. Going to show you a list. If you want to get into JSA, you can do it with just 10 models. You absolutely can, and it still can be a lot, a lot of fun. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're not going to start with our lieutenant like we do in my normal stuff. We're making our core link team. Well, before we do that, fire team's chart. We need to do that first. So, fire teams, we got the Keisotsu. These are basic line infantry, Keisotsu fire team. So, Keisotsus are your basic guys. Nothing really to them, but they are super cheap and really the backbone of the army for your order monkeys. Because if you want orders, you're going to have to keep going to Keisotsus. Because other than the Chayis, probably the cheapest things that you're going to have. And since everything else is... There's no really good mid-range. You have Keisotsus. You've got some heavy infantry tankos are also very cheap. But then it goes to bikes at bike prices and then uber expensive getting into your skirmishers and for anything else. So Keisotsus, you're going to be seeing a lot of Keisotsus. Domaru can also join Keisotsu fire teams. Domarus are... Awesome. Amazing. Love Domaru's. Daiokai, big size five ninjas. Uh, not ninjas, but samurais. Excuse me. Daiokais are fantastic and come with NCO. We'll be going over them. And Oyama. Oyama is the character Domaru. All right. Domaru fire teams. These guys can duo Harris and Core. Domaru, obviously, minimum of one Domaru. Oyama is also counts as a Domaru. Tankos and Diokai. JSA fire teams can duo and Harris. Domaru, Karakuri. Oh, Karakuri are absolutely disgusting and tough to deal with. Shikami. Shikami are also very good, but very expensive. And Oyama again for the Domaru. The Banzai fire teams duo and Harris with Miyamoto Mushashi, FTO. And a Tanko, Duo and Harris. The Aragato Fire Teams, these, Duo and Harris, these are your bikes. Aragato and Kuroshi Rider. Kuroshi Rider is pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome model. And your wild cards, you only got two. You got the Kempe, that counts as Keisotsus, and Yuriko Oda FTO, also counts as Keisotsu. Yuriko is your Dire Foes character and also an engineer. But let's get started here with the list. And we're going to start with our Diokai, our big size five boy. Diokai, so 
pretty awesome. Four four movement, so not super, not that aggressive movement that you usually see. But it's Japan; they got other cool stuff. Martial arts level two, BS attack plus one damage, courage, shock immunity, no wounding cap, NCO. That's going to be very important. And stealth. Almost all, I'm, I'm pretty sure all, of the HI in JSA have stealth, which is pretty thematic, pretty cool. We're going to be bringing the Red Fury, which that is a damage 14 Red Fury and a damage 15 Panzerfaust. We're going to grab him. And then we're going to run over here to our Tenko. Tenkos. Tenkos are fantastic. Uh, the two that you're going to see the most often are the 17.1 Flamen Spear and Contender. Pistol, Monofilament, Close Combat Weapon, and Shock, Close Combat Weapon for 17 points. Or the Missile Launcher with Pistol, Monofilament, Close Combat Weapon, and Shock, Close Combat Weapon for 27 points. These guys are also two wounds. It's absolutely cheap. They don't come with really great weapons. Contender is overall not great. Submachine gun is the standard piece to go with. Hey, this thing's going to be cheap. And light shotgun, also one of those things. You'd be like, yep, this is going to be cheap. But in this case, we're going to be bringing the missile launcher. And we're not putting a lieutenant in here. We're going to be putting a chain of command so we do need to go get our Kempe. Or Kempai, as it were. And we're going to grab the Chain of Command boarding shotgun. And I want as many orders as I can possibly get out of here. So we are going to go grab the Domaru. There's Domaru. We just need Omaya Domaru. There he is. Oyama, chain rifle, EM grenades with his tactical awareness. I'm gonna grab him, and we need a do and we need a Domaru because for this fire team to work, you have to have a Domaru. Domaru, Oyama, Tanko, Daiokai, you gotta have a Domaru in there somewhere. So we are gonna come back over here, and we are gonna grab our Domaru, and we're gonna grab. We need a specialist for here, so. Domaru FO. But that is the core fire team. You're going to be engaging this the most often just because missile launcher is there, one of your only long range weapons. Diokai is going to be your point man. Kenpai is there in case lieutenant goes down, which we will get to the lieutenant. Yama is there for tactical awareness and EM grenades because EM grenades are great. And a chain rifle with whip 14 that's going to be able to allow you to intuitive attack and have a template weapon and Domaru FO just because Domaru FO because you need a specialist and Domaru's are fantastic on their own 62 movement 24 cc martial arts level 3 cc attack shock bs attack plus 1 damage berserk plus 3 courage dodge plus 2 inches frenzy immunity shock stealth we don't worry about the frenzy because we're in a fire team so it's not important But we need a specialist. So our midfield specialist, we're going to come over here to the Ryukin Unit 9s. These guys have X-Visors, Courage, Mimetism, Minus 6, and Mine Layer. There's only one specialist here, and that is the Killer Hacker. So he's a Killer Hacker, 4 deployment, plus 8 inches, submachine gun, shock mines, D-charges. D-charges are awesome. So you'll be able to push buttons with this, and complete other objectives from your objective deck, your classified deck, if something has to do with decharges. And we're going to grab that, and that's going to put a camo marker in the midfield with the mine layer for the shock mines as well, even though Ryukin does not have camouflage himself for that. Uh, the Ryukin heavy rocket launcher does have camouflage has camouflage plus one of uh, sorry camouflage one use and that is a fantastic fantastic model we are going to be using the hacker for this one and we need another specialist to help out remember in my opening i said you really need to get use the skirmishers that they have to take out the things that you don't want to interrupt your core from doing cool things and so we're gonna go get that and thy name is oni waban 
Oni Wabans are disgusting, amazing. So 24 CC, martial arts level four, surprise attack minus three, camouflage courage, hidden deployment. Do not forget that you place them there. Do not forget that you place them there. Dodge plus two inches, infiltration plus six. So he's going to get anywhere you want to on the board on a 15. Or So if you're a, a deploying him on your opponent's side of the board, say I have placed him because he's in hidden deployment. So a marker will not go down. A model will not go down. He's just going to be there. Roll and he'll have a, on a 15. He will stick. Mimetism minus six, stealth and terrain total. For this particular list, we are going to be bringing for points, just because we need to add up the points, is we're going to bring the boarding shotgun. Normally, I really like the submachine gun and the nano pulser because yeah, the nano pulser that has that template weapon, you got the submachine gun for more burst, but the boarding shotgun will do just fine for what we're going to be doing. And gives him some a well, he, some higher damage AP than a submachine gun. All right, but now we got to get to our hair. We're going to get to our Harris team because we are just doing a ten man list here, and we're going to go back to our Domaru. And we're going to be getting the Domaru Lieutenant plus one Lieutenant Order with a Spitfire. Pistol, EM, close combat weapon, 1.5 SWC, and 37 points. His two lieutenant orders are most likely going to be going to your core fire team, going to be in, using with the Diokai. Let them keep moving. They're going to, you've got so much utility and so many things that you can do with that core fire team. You're, like I said, you're going to be engaging it most often. So, these two lieutenant orders on this Domaru and a Harris is going to allow you to do so. Can Harris with these guy with the Domaru? So we're going to go and grab a Tanko. And again, I already talked about it. The Flamin Sphere and Contender for 17 points. Super cheap, super easy. And we do need a specialist here. And the cheapest specialist that you're going to get here that is linkable to go with a these two heavy infantry guys is going to be Yuriko Oda FTO. And we're going to be grabbing Yuriko Oda is really good. Deactivator gizmo kit going to be able to help. If your Tenko or your Domaru happens to get hacked from something, he can help fix them. He's got dodge plus three. So he's dodging on a 14, Dodge plus one inch, mimetism minus three. He's got mine layers to help protect. So when you set these guys up, he can help protect your deployment zone a little bit because of the mine layer. Your code is very, very good. Very, very good. And that's it. It's 4.5 SWC, 299 points, 10 orders, sorry, 10 models on the field. So even if you happen to be going first, remember you're going to have nine regular orders because... Oni Waban's order will not show up until you engage them. So if they take two away from the, or going to have, you'll have nine, so it'll go to seven, but you still have the tactical awareness order. So it'll bring it back up to eight, and you still have your two lieutenant orders, which will bring it back to 10 for the Diokai. Using, using them on the Diokai. So you still, even if you happen to go first, you still got 10 orders to use with. Be really, really nice. And what's really cool about this list in particular is as long as a Domaru can get there, if the Spitfire, this Domaru happens to die for some ungodly reason, you might be taking a missile launcher. Not a big deal. This Domaru can still move up and link with any one of these guys in the core and still link with any of these guys in the Harris. So you can mix and match this core in Harris to your heart's content as long as one of the two Domaru are still there. If you don't like how this is set up, switch it around a little bit. It's fine. It's going to be good. Going to be really good. 
I have seen this list do some really, really good work. But moving right along. Moving on to our next list. I want to really show off the Karakuri here. And so first thing, we need a core fire team. We're going to go to our Keisotsus. I told you Keisotsus are like going to be everything. Everything, everything. So we're going to go heavy on Keisotsus here because Karakuri are expensive. We will get there in a minute. We're going to start off with our Lieutenant. Now the Lieutenant is 0.5 SWC. Just something you're going to have to get used to getting in here and playing with JSA. And we're going to bring two missile launchers for 14 points, 1.5 SWC apiece. We're going to bring a Kempe. And we're going to bring the MSV-2 shock marksman rifle, pistol, close combat weapon, and pair close combat weapon, minus three for one SWC and 22 points, just in case... All the terrible things happen to your Keisotsu. You can still move out because Keisotsu can Harris. And you can still move out with them and have a decently competent point man. It's nice that K the Kempai also have six cents and number two. And we're going to go back to our Keisotsu and we're going to grab two paramedics and one more regular Keisotsu. So we got seven guys here. So even if you're both of your missile launchers go down, you've still got five guys that you can still move out with to having no long range weapons left. The Kempai can still move out as a full five man link team, and that would be a pure core link team to do stuff with. And look, that's seven orders and that's 90 points. It is 4.5 SWC, but Karakuri costs like no SWC, so it's not that big of a deal. You're like, oh, that's high SWC, but that's really low points. Don't worry. The Karakuri will take care of that. So we are going to go to our Karakuri now. Karakuri Special Project. They are heavy infantry. They are hackable. 4-4 movement, 10 CC, so not high CC. 13 BS, 10 Fizz, 13 Whip, 3 Armor, 6 BTS, 3 Structure. Not 2. They're heavy infantry with 3 Structure. They are not wounds. They are Structure. And we're going to grab the Mark 12 and the Multi Rifle. Look at these prices, though. So they got 45 points, 42, 40, and 41. But look at these special skills. They got Courage, obviously. Total immunity. So that three structure is looking even better now with the total immunity. They are all specialists. They all have forward observer. So they all have flash pulses. They can all forward observe for you. And gizmo kit on a tw on a fizz of 12. Well, we're going to need a gizmo kit because we want to really engage Karakuri and let Karakuri shine because they are just really, really tough to deal with. And they got brand new models out and they look gorgeous. And we are going to go back to Yuriko Oda. And we're going to grab the 23.1 this time because it has a Panzerfaust pretty much. Combi rifle, Panzerfaust, D charges, shock mines for 23 points. And that is, you've got a core with a bunch of spares and a Harris. So this is really going to let you use all seven of these orders, really, all on this Harris. So you got full 10 orders to use on this, on this Harris. And we're still only at 200 points. We're only at 200 points. So we are going to go to our second group and we need another hit piece because while Karakuris and Yuriko Oda are going to do a whole lot of work for you, we need something else. And so what we're going to bring is Yojimbo. Yojimbo is amazing. Uh, sword for you know, Yojimbo sword for hire. He's a biker and he just fills so many roles for you. 
movement because JSA has amazing, the best bikes, the best bikes. 24cc, 12bs, 14 fizz, 13 whip, 1 armor, 3 BTS, smoke grenade launcher, so it, you can actually give some smoke out. Martial arts level 4, courage, dodge plus 2 inches, crit immunity, no wound in cap, impetuous, and mine layer. He's got a contender plus 1 burst, so that's 2 shots from your contender. A nano pulser, smoke grenade, so he's got smoke grenades on top of that high fizz. And crazy koalas. His job is to throw smoke, lay out crazy koalas, and just be an absolute nuisance to your opponent. And he's done that every time I have played against him. Yojimbo is disgusting that way. All right, so we do need some specialists. We got our Harris. We got a core. We got another harassment piece in Yojimbo. We need specialists. So we're going to go over here. We're going to come back to our Ryukin. Killer Hacker. And we need another, I think we need another one. And so we are going to go to the ninjas. Now, the ninjas that you're going to see most often are these three down here. Are the hacking device submachine gun, the killer hacker with just a tactical bow, and DA close combat weapon for 29 points, and the Ford Observer combi rifle flash pulse pistol DA close combat weapon for 35 points. I like the Ford Observer the best. But for this particular thing, we're going to bring the Killer Hacker because it proves himself time and time again. All right, so we're at 276 points, 5 SWC. Uh, it, we, just in case Yuriko Oda happens to go down, we've like propped up our core so well. Let's prop up the Karakuris even more. And go with another engineer the tokusetsu butai you got two of them you got the doctor and the engineer here these are not guys are nothing to write home about at all bs10 fizz 10 whip 13 one armor but they're specialists they will get the job done for you then they're both 14 points we're going to grab that engineer and we're going to grab a yao to go with him we got seven points left over so we're going to go grab a chai to give as many orders as we can to Yojimbo. So you're not going to... Remember, Ninja is hidden deployment. If you are you were here for when I went over ISS for Yuching, we have went over the Ninjas plenty over there. But the hidden deployment... Remember, just like the Oniwaban, his order will not show up until you engage him. And you'd never, like, never want to engage this ninja in reactive turn. Almost never. I don't want to say never. Almost never in reactive. You always want to do the active turn. Ninja. So, with Yojimbo's irregular order and his impetuous orders, so there's two. Ryukin, three. Tokusetsu, four. And Chai, five. You got five orders and... Once Ninja has moved at all at any point during the game, now he's got a whole nother order to use him, but you're really going to be using that on the Ninja. If Jimbo's not there to do a whole lot, he's there to be a harassment piece. Use him to the best of your ability as a harassment piece. But that that's 5 SWC and a perfect 300 points. All right, moving on to our last list... And we got to make our tag list. I always make a tag list, so we're going to make a tag list. All right, we're going back to our Kesotsus. But this time, we're not grabbing the lieutenant. We're going to grab our combi. We're going to grab one missile launcher this time. For point's sake, we are going to grab a Kempe boarding shotgun chain of command. We're going to go back to our k to grab another combi to help just so we can points wise because k are just there for points at this point and paramedic. There's your core fire team. They are defensive core. Missile launcher goes down. Who cares? It doesn't matter because we are going to get the Oyeroy and the Oyeroy is disgustingly good. 6-4 movement, 23 CC, 14 BS, 17 Fizz, 13 Whip, 7 Armor, 6 BTS, 3 Structure, 
ECM guided minus six, as all good techs should. Martial arts level two, BS attack plus one damage, as all good techs should. Courage, dodge plus two inches, dodge on an 11. Shock immunity, mind layer, tactical awareness, stealth. Even their tags have stealth. Disgusting. Gizmo kit, Fizz 11. We are going to grab the lieutenant option here with his AP heavy machine gun, heavy flamethrower, and crazy koalas. 2 SWC, 75 points. What's fun is the pilot is also, is not just like a specialist, he's an actual specialist. He is a forward observer. So we're going to grab the Oyeroy Lieutenant. And we need something to help out our Oyeroy because he will, like from the scary snipers that everybody else is going to have since we really don't have sniper. Yes, Kesotsu's. No, Kesotsu's don't have a sniper rifle at all. We ha There's no sniper rifles here in the sectorial, to my knowledge. Actually, I want to look right quick. I'm almost positive that they don't have any... It would be a multi-sniper rifle. Oh, they do have a multi-sniper rifle. Ah, oh, it's from the Ninja. So, yeah, <laughs> you're not going to be using that one. So we need something to help take out that long-range weapon, and there is nothing better than Shinobu. Shinob Oniwaban Shinobu Kitsune. With martial arts level 5. There's only two martial arts level 5 guys in all of Infinity, and JSA has both of them. And this is one of them, Shinobu Kitsune, Martial Arts Level 5. If if you're not, don't know what Martial Arts Level 5 actually does, it's plus 3 to you, minus 3 to your opponent, plus 3 damage, and plus 1 burst. So that's on a 28 and 2 burst. With damage 16. That's pretty nuts. Combi rifle, nano pulser, smoke grenades, one of the very few skirmishers that can throw smoke from the midfield. Pistol, monofilament, close combat weapon, which is going to make your opponent's armor to zero anyway. So damage 16 on no armor. Good luck surviving. 44 points and 0.5 SWC. She has infiltration plus six as well. So a little bit better than a regular Oniwaban, along with having climbing plus, which is really, really nice. So we are going to grab Shinobu to help protect, really to protect Oyuroi. But we need something else to take kind of heat off of Oyuroi. Because he is going to be using his lieutenant order. He is going to be using his tactical awareness and his own order. So he's got three orders all by himself, but we need something else. And I wanted to bring the Harris because this is one of the only sectorials that can bring a bike Harris. And I just think it would be fun. It'd be a whole lot of fun. So we're going to go to our Aragotos. Advanced Guard Regiment, Motorcycle, Courage, Dodge plus two inches, Mimetism minus three, and Impetuous. But they're going to be in a fire team. Impetuous will not matter. PS-12, Fizz-11, Whip-13, two armor. These guys are light infantry. We are going to be bringing the Spitfire because we need a point man. We're going to be bringing a specialist, so we're going to bring that 23-point killer hacker. And we need, we have to have the Kuroshi Rider to be to make that fire team. So we are going to bring the Kuroshi Rider and Kuroshi Rider is a Ford observer and she has smoke grenade launcher. So you can provide some smoke for this Harris. Yeah, it's on 12s, but two shots on 12s. That ain't terrible, but there's your first group. Second group is we're going to go back to Yojimbo because Yojimbo is perfect harassment piece. But And we bring in Oyeroy, we need an engineer. Gotta, gotta, gotta bring an engineer. So we're going to go back to our Tokosetsu engineer. We're going to bring a Yaozao with him. And we got seven points left over, so we are going to grab our Chai bot. Now, I want to be very clear here with 
until you feel very comfortable, you need to keep that Yao since he's in the second pool and is only going to have three orders and Yojimbo is an order hog. Try to keep the Yao as close to the Oyoroi as possible. So when you move, move Oyoroi, have your head, I'm going to take from the second pool and I'm going to move Yao if Yojimbo really doesn't have anything to do. Make it really an easy thing for the Yao to get to the Oyoroi if the Oyoroi does get in trouble. But if Oyoroi does go down, you still got Yojimbo, you still got the Aragoto Harris to do things with you. And they can get a whole lot of work done. But these are the three lists, and as always, these lists will be down in the description of the video. I had a lot of fun learning this army. I had a lot of help from uh, the guy that did our last video. He's in our meta, Andrew, otherwise known as DPA. Had a lot of help from him and learning this army over the last couple of weeks. It was a whole lot of fun. Got to play with them a little bit. They are very, very enjoyable, and I urge you to give JSA a try. JSA is... Mm, Wonderful. So good. Definitely my style of play. And guys, hope you guys enjoy the video and we'll see you next week.